Hello guys, Jace Stewart here and I thought what an awesome opportunity to do a video after I've just done my weekly shop. It's a Saturday that I've done the weekly shop at and I've got it all about, about to put it back in the fridge and the cupboard and I thought, you know what? Um, men get really, really stuck when it comes to where to start. I think preparation is so, so important. If you're trying to manage your weight, preparation is the number one thing. Effectively, if you're caught eating reactively, you're going to be in a tough place all week because you're going to be buying things on convenience and not on the best nutritional choice for you. And it's not about restricting, it's about being prepared. And if you do have a, a, a blowout or a binge or something like that, that's completely fine. But you're choosing to do it as opposed to doing it because you've been forced to because you don't have food in preparation for it. So I'm gonna take you through what my weekly shop looks like. And I just wanna point out that uh, this weekly shop is not a complete weekly shop because I did have some stuff left over from last week. Um, so there are a couple of items missing, but this cost me around $180, um, so Australian dollars. My food bill, I can't seem to get it much under the $150 on a weekly basis, but this is really what it gets us. So what I might do is I might start at uh, the protein. So. Basically, I try to get enough, so, so my basic strategy that I'm working with is I've got a meat, I've got a, a little bit of a low GI carbohydrate, and I've got some vegetables to go with meals. So that's generally the pattern I eat. So you've got your, your meat, your lean meats, your carbohydrates, and your vegetables. And that's kind of how I've set it up here. So I'll give you a look at my meat choices. I've gone for a porterhouse steak, and I'm gonna cut that rind off before I cook it. I've gone for turkey breasts because turkey as a uh, form of poultry is a super lean meat and it's a beautiful meat to do things with. Uh, you've got your turkey rissoles. These guys are so lean and so tasty. So there are a few of my meat choices. I'll keep going. I'm gonna be cooking some fish tacos tonight. So I've got some, uh, some barramundi fillets, some salmon fillets, and I'm gonna be using the trout as snacks through the day. Now, if you're looking at this big hefty piece of meat and thinking, what the hell is he gonna do with that? I love biltong, it's my number one snack and I've got a biltong maker. This is gonna turn into biltong, so that's what that's all about. Now, whenever two things come on sale, for me they are tuna, cans and uh, chocolate protein bars, um, I buy them in bulk. So for me, that was the tuna cans today, so I bought a stack of tuna there. I like to eat them for lunch, I think they're really convenient and they help me. Even if I don't have any leftovers from the night before, these guys are perfect. The ones that I was talking about as a snack are these ones from the bar counter. Um, they are really quite good. I'm not gonna go into them in detail now. I'll do another video on snacks so we can get to that. Okay, so our carbohydrate choices. Generally speaking, what I go for is the most refined version of anything uh, that's available to me. So for example, I would take sweet potatoes over potatoes. Uh, to go with my fish tacos, it's gonna be whole grain instead of your more refined white wraps. We've got our rice here. Look, rice is a pain in the bum to cook. So I just get the packeted microwave rice that you're cooking up, two and a half minutes, it's super convenient. And if you don't eat the whole packet at once, you can cook the rest the next time round. If you haven't had black rice, give it a taste. It is absolutely the best. So good. Okay, I've got, you could probably, well, let's put them in the carbohydrate. That's my bananas for a snack. Um, really, look, bananas are really the only fruit that I kind of eat every day. I and mean, they're a low GI choice. That's why I eat them. They provide sustained energy. And to you guys that love the gym or love exercising, these are the perfect pre-exercise snack. Uh, okay, so eggs. I'd go through generally a carton of 12 perhaps eggs per day, oh, sorry, per week that is, per day would be pretty hefty. And then we go into our, uh, our vegetables and let's go. So we've got our green vegetables like our kale, which I turn into a salad base or for the base of some salmon bowls, for example. We've got our broccoli here. We've got our zucchinis, some capsicum. Then we move over to some colored vegetables like squash, baby cucumbers, red onions, and what I really like about the way direction, the direction that supermarkets are going now is pre-packaging healthy options of foods. There's a few that I want to pick out that I think are really, really good. So you've got your Australian superfood mix. I guess it's like a, uh, it's a vegetable mix, but this is perfect for something like our fish tacos. It's already pre-packed. And if you don't eat it all at once, just store it up in one of your Tupperware containers and you're good to go. Same thing for baby rockets. I think these are really, really cool. 
What about these ones? Baby cucumbers, packed. I love that because I'm not gonna eat a whole cucumber in one go, but I'll eat a couple of baby cucumbers. I think that's really cool. One of my favorites is this guy here. I didn't even know these existed until today, so it's cauliflower, cauliflower rice. I don't know about you guys, but when I see, when I, when I buy a full cauliflower and see it in the fridge, I just, I think it's a good idea at the time, and then I look at it the whole time and never actually eat it. That makes it perfect and ready. Two and a half minutes in the microwave, and you're really good to go. I think the, the, the majors are doing a really good job now with trying to meet the demand for an increased wave of health. So great stuff, guys, and hopefully that continues. And it continues on with things like mini caps and the whole meal grains. You generally find there is generic brands that are coming out now, which is really, really cheap. Probably the last thing that I want to point out is my coconut water. Um, do you know what? Most guys kill their, uh, their calorie intake through fluids. That's really the thing that lets people down. It's juices, it's soft drinks, and it's beer. And I'm never gonna say don't drink beer, but of course, if the majority of fluids that you're drinking are going to be very low calorie fluids, like obviously water, or these guys, which are probably somewhere in between, um, very low in calories, but a really, really healthy choice, then you're gonna be right on the money to continuing. So there's my shop, like I said, about 180 bucks all told. Um, that would be a pretty representative sample of a weekly shop. I've got one little tip for you before we finish off, and that is, um, if you were to go on my website and grab my book, Bloke Can Cook, I have a section in there which talks about how to navigate a shopping center and how to read labels. So in terms of navigating a shopping center, you have to remember that the setup of a shopping center, if it's just not, uh, it's not by accident that this actually happens. But generally speaking, the important uh, items that you need to stick to are on the perimeter of the shop. So we're talking our fruits and veggies, our meats, our complex carbohydrates, our uh, low fat dairy products are all on the perimeter. Now that's the way the shopping center is designed. And hopefully, if you walk past enough aisles, it's kind of like a, uh, I'm trying to think of a game of like Connect Four or something where you just fall in to the aisles. And it's when you fall into the aisles that you get stuck buying processed foods. If you're gonna go down the aisles, make sure you're going down the aisles for a specific reason. So it might be to buy your canned tuna, it might be to buy your canned tomatoes, it might be to grab some fish sauce, but don't go wandering aimlessly down the aisles on an empty stomach, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna leave there spending more on a proportion of food that's really not that healthy for you. All the good stuff is on the outside. So hopefully you guys find that really, really helpful. Um, please guys, subscribe and comment below. It really helps more than you know. I'm gonna be releasing a lot more videos like this one to try to get you fellas and ladies on a clearer path towards health. Cheers guys, see you next time.